Hey, this is Jay with Vintage Auto Garage, and I'm here to show you a couple different products. Um, the first product I want to show you is our single gauge reducer. So when you're converting your car from a 6-volt system to a 12-volt system, and you want to use your original gauges, you're going to need to put um, a gauge regulator, and I'll explain what that means in a minute, on your gauges. Because you don't want to run 12 volts in a 6-volt gauge because you'll burn them up and they're very expensive to repair even if you can find somebody to rewind them for you so to protect your gauges you definitely want to put a gauge regulator and not a resistor uh, the problem with resistors is they will work but as a resistor heats up the values change and then the the current flow and the voltage is different and you'll think your oil pressure is higher or lower the amount of gas you got in your tank is higher or lower so um, a resistor is never a good idea. You want to use a gauge regulator, and which that's what this is, is a little solid state device. And you can see under the shrink, this, you can see this red shrink wrap here. Um, there's, a little, there's a little microchip in there. And these are really simple to connect up. You just connect one side to the input of the gauge here, and then this side here on this, uh, on this brass terminal is the input so this is 12 volts in this is six and a half volts out and then it's got a ground all solid state devices have to have some type of a ground and these will only work on negative ground systems so if you have a positive ground vehicle you need to switch the battery cables and make sure you're running a uh, run on negative ground okay and you can tell these are made by vintage auto garage because it has the red shrink wrap on it and our name is under it and these are made here in the United States in our own shop so the input here so this would go to your key switch or your fuse block the other side then goes out to your your tank sending unit the way this works is the tank sending unit uh, resistance changes as the gas goes up and down in the tank it just changes the resistance and then moves the needle back and forth it's a real simple operation and it's worked well, well for years okay so single gauge reducer if you have um, a multiple gauge setup like you would see here in like this I believe this is out of a Ford and where it's got an oil gas temp and a battery gauge and or amp gauge and I'm going to show you about that here in a minute uh, we robbed the gas gauge out of it that's why it's not in here but so on the back of this you've got you've got these connectors and sometimes you're going to see there's a um, a bar that will connect these together um, so what 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 the manufacturers did instead of running you know wires up to each one of the gauges they just connected the gauges together with the bars you need to take those bars off because okay, you need to expose them like this so you have access to be able to wire them correctly Okay. So when you have a when you have multiple gauges, you want to use um, this device here. This is a gauge regulator as well. This takes 12 volts in, produces six and a half volts out, and so it's real simple to connect up. 12 volts. That's got a ground, and then it's got six six and a half volts coming out here, and you can either run a wire from each one of these little connectors up to your gauges or um, you can you can run um, one wire and then daisy chain them up at your gauges. There's a little green LED light right here, so when you when this has power, it will um, the little green LED light will be on. If you happen to short it out, um, the, not to worry. The little green light will go out, and there's a little circuit breaker, and it'll thermally shut off. And then we have to wait a few minutes and it'll come back on. It is built on an aluminum heat sink, so it's, it's got good heat sink capability, so it does not get hot. But we always recommend you mounting this onto something metal um, so you get that, you know, the additional heat sink. It's got a couple holes here to be able to mount it. So very simple um, to install. We, we've, we started to make these back in um, 2005. So we have thousands of these units out in the marketplace and we've shipped these all over the world. Um, we recommend getting a little, uh, this little wire kit. 
Um, and this will save you a lot of time running around, so it's got all the right size wires in it and the little connectors to be able to connect all the gauges up. Okay. All right, so I promised to talk about the amp gauge. We get, again, a lot of questions about amp gauges. Do we need to put a reducer on them? The answer is no, because an amp gauge or a battery gauge just measures current. It doesn't care whether it's 6 volts or 12 volts. Um, so it's just measuring current going, going across it. This one is interesting in that it does not have little connectors. You can see it here. It's got this little loop. And that little loop is where the wire from your alternator or your generator goes through this little loop right here like that. Okay. So say this is coming from your alternator and then this is going over your battery on this side. Okay. Then it, it's a little induction loop. And as the power goes back and forth, it will run the gauge. If for some reason when you hook this up and your gauge is running backwards, then just take it out, loop it around, put it in the other side, and uh, then it'll right, run the right way. So no reducer needed for the amp gauge or the battery gauge. If you have little terminal connectors like this, then um, you're just going to connect it up like you do a regular gauge. And we recommend you know, using 10 gauge wire. So this would be coming from your, your alternator here, connected to your alternator. So this would fish up, this bars is long enough, it'll go up through your firewall <clears throat> into the, into the uh, underneath the dash. And then it comes with little connectors so you can cut it and splice it and uh, connect it to the gauge and then back out to the plus side of the battery. And Usually the best place to connect these from the alternator over the battery is to the start solenoid if you have a start solenoid. Uh, so that's, uh, that's our gauge reducers and each one comes with a set of instructions. Like I said earlier, they're made here by us in, in the United States in our own shop. So we have uh, a, lot of, a lot of control over the quantity and the, excuse me, the quality. And if there is a problem, um, which we don't anticipate you having a problem with it, but you can certainly call us and we're happy to, to uh, take care of it, you know, any problems over the phone. And um, you, can, um, you can find these on our website at uh, Vintage Auto Garage. So it's www.vintageautogarage.com. And you can reach us by phone, 800-516-4461. Okay, I think that's it, and thanks a lot for watching. Okay, bye.